Welcome to the CA Workload Automation Autosys Agent Installation Demo for Windows 2012. In this video we will review an installation of the 11.3 SP2 Agent. Immediately following installation demo, details on the post install steps will be covered. Okay, let's get started. The installation media has been mounted on the target Windows 2012 server. I'm switching to the 64-bit agent directory and running setup.exe. After accepting the licensing agreement, I will accept the default target directory, select no to preserving settings from an existing agent, then I will change the agent name to something a bit more unique. I will prepend the default name agent with the target host name, in this case, win2012-1. Next I will accept the default of one for managers that the agent will interface with. Then I will specify the manager ID, address, and port. I want to pause here and explain where I got these values. There are two easy ways to get this information. On the manager host, you can run the admin GUI, switch to the agent screen, and find the manager ID, address, and port here, here, and here. Or you can open a shell, also on the manager host, switch to the agent directory, and type out the agentparm.txt to find the manager ID, address, and port here, here, and here. Resuming the install, I will accept the defaults the rest of the way, except at the end I will switch the agent service to restart automatically. and the install process is completed. Following the install, there are a few important tasks to complete. First, we want to verify communication between the scheduler and agent hosts. Simple IPv4 pings between the hosts will work fine for this. Here, I have opened the shell on my scheduler host, Win2K8R2-1, and I am pinging the new agent on Win2012-1. Then I open a remote shell to the agent machine and perform the same ping test in reverse. Looks good. The next step is to copy the cryptkey.txt file from the scheduler agent to the new agent. I'm just using a map drive to copy the file from one machine to the other. During the install, I accepted the default encryption for the new agent, which matches the encryption type for the scheduler agent, so they can use the same encryption key file. If you are using or specifying a non-default encryption type, you will need to configure the encryption per the guidelines in the documentation. After updating the crypt key, the text file is very important to restart the agent service. This can be completed via the services applet on the agent host. Next we need to add the machine definition for the new agent. Using Jill, I will insert a machine for the agent host win2012-1 and give it a type of A. Then I will run an auto ping to test communication and it was not successful. Hmm. Let's take a look at the machine definition. Oh, I see a problem. I didn't specify the agent name attribute, so it is set to the default WA underscore agent. Remember, during the install, I changed it to win2012-1 underscore agent. So I will use Jill to fix this. Then retry the auto ping, and this time it is successful. The agent is ready to run jobs. Thank you for watching.